हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू मुसाफिर हूँ यारो बस चलते जाना है कहीं रुकना नहीं है सो द आइडिया ऑफ दिस चैनल इज आई एम अ ट्रैवलर यू नो एंड आई ट्रैवल फॉर माय वर्क एंड आई आल्सो लव ट्रैवलिंग सो वेन एवर आई गेट अ चांस आई यूज टू ट्रैवल आई यूज टू सी कंट्रीज आई यूज टू सी प्लेसेज आई यूज टू स्पीक विद पीपल एंड इट गिव्स मी इमेंस प्लेजर वाइल आई स्पीक विद पीपल आई गेट टू नो मेनी थिंग्स so i always uh, suggest the same thing to my fellow travelers throughout the globe that please do travel uh, please explore places it will give you happiness so with that guys please like and share my videos please do subscribe to my channels i'll come back with one after another videos which will be absolutely informative again i'm saying it is absolutely informative so guys thank you very much for watching my videos Keep liking and sharing and do subscribe to my channel. Hi guys. Welcome back to Musafir Hoon Yaro. So this time today we are going to explore uh, one of the national park which is situated in Odisha. Uh, it's Shimlipal National Park. Uh, so we have uh, a plan to stay in one of the spot within the uh, forest. So which is uh, Jamwani, and we got a. tree top house so i think that would be kind of an uh, lifetime experience so this is the map you can see from here right uh, these are the places uh, you can like explore uh, so the idea is you have to take a pass uh, you can drive your vehicle if your vehicle is a suv and having a ground clearance of 180 a uh, centimeter or more uh, so since i'm traveling by my high rider you know i drive a high rider and its uh, ground clearance is pretty more than that so this is the tiger reserve rate chart you can see uh, what is the entry fees and all so it's around 100 rupees uh, per person per day so these are something uh, written in odia if you guys know how to read odia you can read that these are something into english so do's and don'ts this is the office from where uh, uh, we get the pass they also have a safari which is around 12 seater and uh, for that you need to pay somewhere around 6700 but you cannot uh, book a seat so you have to book the entire vehicle so i believe this gentleman will give us the pass and i have already booked the tree top house in jamwani so i think i can go and <coughs> those person who are not staying here uh, within uh, shimlipal uh, i think they have uh, some time limit to get uh, entry into this thing so day visitors as you can see 6 am to 9 am uh, that's the time and uh, with reservations uh, who have the reservations into the uh, forest they can uh, roam till 2 pm so that's for now let us go to jamwani and we'll share the next bit back uh guys so we are entering uh, shimlipal forest area it's around 7 kilometers from this location i'll try to give you the glimpse of the area uh, so it can be helpful we are about to enter shimlipal tiger reserve uh guys this is the only place uh, in the globe where we get a specific species of tigers called a tiger with a lot more melatonin or you can say a black tiger so why this is a black tiger because if you see there are cross pattern in a body of a tiger if you noticed it's a yellow and black right so in bengali we normally call it a tora kata so in case of a black tiger the melatonin formation is much more compared to a common tiger so that's how their black uh, part of the body is so thick and it's so wide that uh, in a 
नेकेड आईज फाइंडिंग द येलो कलर इज अ बिट डिफिकल्ट सो दैट्स हाउ फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस द स्पेसिफिक स्पीसीज ऑफ टाइगर इज नोन एज अ ब्लैक टाइगर सो आई मीन इफ पीपल आर सो लकी देन ओनली दे कैन सी ब्लैक टाइगर इन दिस शिमलीपाल फॉरेस्ट This is the entry point to Simlipal, which is Tulsi Valley. Please fasten right? your seat belt. So that's the <coughs> Simlipal Tiger Reserve, and we have uh, our guide, Mr. Nayak, also with us. So I'll introduce you with him in a couple of hours. So guys, this is uh, Jammu Ani Nature Camp, Simlipal. So we are staying here, and this is the entry gate. This side is the security. Stop. So, get some necessary permission, and then we will enter. So, this is a wonderful <coughs> culture of this area. They welcome their guest in such a manner. I mean, this is awesome. this is how welcome their guest uh guys we are inside jamwani nature camp and this is the tree house the recent most development of this nature camp so how they call it as uh, luxurious tree house it has been inaugurated just a year back so i believe we'll have a good experience in this uh, sweet room so they have uh, created some staircases to get onto the top of the area or which is the house so there are two house one is tree top house 1 and this is tree top house 2 uh, so this is the balcony it's well decorated and uh, once you enter the room this is the interior of the room this is really awesome guys so i paid 6000 plus tax for a night just for all of your information this is the most uh, luxurious uh, property in shimlipal and uh, you can see there are like televisions available they have the covered uh, ac uh, sofa and center table the most interesting part is that uh, this part of this room so you can get the sunlight direct from the top in the morning and you have a i mean you will definitely have a good morning uh, feeling i'll take you to the washroom area they have given to sleepers as well this is the washroom again in the washroom you have that uh, kind of uh, chimney feeling you can see uh, everything like in the night you can see the stars while you are inside your room uh, so they have everything like wash basins uh, mirrors towels everything it's it's a luxurious cottage you know so guys we are entering the jungle the same thrilling road and this time it's different because this time i myself driving so my first experience on to driving in a forest i think i'm not able to express my feelings my excitement in words this is insane no mobile network nothing you are at the lap of the nature and this is how a jungle welcomes you with so much of uncertainty so much of nature uh, so this part of the jungle is mainly for the wildlife uh, we are expecting to see couple of things might be some spotted deers or uh, forest squirrel that would be a bigger kind of a squirrel uh, the one which we normally see in our 
locality is a small squirrel but this would be a bigger squirrel so we are just starting the show for this day uh, we'll be covering this entire uh, shimli pal in two part so today we are doing the evening safari and tomorrow morning we'll do the rest of the part like the waterfalls and the other pine forest and all so today our only destination is uh, the wildlife part so uh, wish me luck guys i am a fan of wildlife i consider myself a lifelong student of wildlife so wish me luck if i can see something and i'll also capture that moment so that i can share it with all of you guys So guys uh, we are uh, seeing some samba deer I'm trying to zoom in uh, I have entered in a area which is actually not meant for the tourist so tourist people can come till that boundary can you see this is the boundary till what tourists are allowed and this is a forest bungalow so i just uh used some of my links from my college days of zoology and i got the opportunity to come inside so i'm trying to show you this samba deer i think you can hear some birds hey guys good morning uh, so we started our uh, day trip today around 6:15 in the morning and on the way we saw some barking deer and some wild cock uh, so now we have reached barhepani falls and so this is a falls uh, and one of the main attraction point of simli pal national park uh, so it's a cloudy weather and this is barepani falls as you can see i'm trying to zoom in uh, it's awesome so this is the range of barepani falls earlier people used to stay in this uh, place as well but now uh, government has uh, stopped allowing people or tourists to stay in this place but uh, i can imagine the people who has got the chance to stay in this place will have a morning uh, <laughs> while seeing this amazing piece of nature guys this is hairi river one of the most prominent river in the range of simli pal national park so guys this is asur kund falls it is in the northern part of simli pal uh, it is in the core range so only for this falls uh, the forest range has allowed to is to enter otherwise it is not allowed but this is a very steep range guys so be careful when you are coming hey guys so we have reached our final destination for this trip 
which is crocodile project at Rama Tirtha. Uh, this is a kind of uh, man-made uh, crocodile park. So once you enter, in the left you have uh, the idols of uh, uh, the goddess or like uh, we call it as Navgraha, like your Shani, Brihaspati, uh, Shukra. Uh, so this is the astral garden. So it has the nine things like Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu. Uh, for your information, no smoking and no alcohol. This is Simlipal Biodiversity Park. Uh, the other good information, because since uh, this is uh, a man-made park, they have made it in a simpler way. So Tigers of Simpli Simlipal. Uh, this is the only uh, tiger reserve where you can get the black tiger. So this is opened long back in 2016, uh, 2006 by uh, Naveen Patnaik, the Honorable Chief Minister of Odisha. So now we are going to see the crocodiles, uh, right? So guys, this is the crocodile breeding center. Uh, you can see the crocodiles. They are now sleeping. So there are three crocodiles in this part and let me see this side if they have any uh, no i am not able to find any so that's about it guys they have some park for the kids where people can play uh, guys i am in front of uh, a very holy place called Rama Tirtha. Uh, so if you see the blue color, uh, this is the place when Lord Rama went to Vanvas and the places where he sat to take rest, it is one of the place which is within that blue circle. So guys, this is the mark of Lord Rama's feet. I mean, I'm experiencing today something which is it's just next to impossible to describe in words. Guys, uh, I'm really thankful to those who liked my videos. Uh, the concept is sharing ideas, sharing information. Uh, I'm not a professional uh, blogger or YouTuber or a videographer. So what I try to do is basically sharing information so that uh, common people like me get some information and they get benefited once they are into a road trip or visiting something. So with this uh, signing off, so please uh, do like, share my videos and please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. Musafir Hu Yaro. We are now way back to Kolkata. So it's around 280 kilometers. Uh, from Shimlipal and it takes uh, roughly about uh, five and a half hours but I believe there is some traffic congestion and hence it's showing around six hours but the road condition is awesome you can see we'll appreciate the uh, road condition it's all hills and four lane expressway so I believe we'll have a good journey